Smart Shorties with Mr. Craig. Hi guys and gals, Mr. Craig here for another Art Smart Shorty. Hopefully you guys are picking up a lot of art tips that are making your skills even sharper than they already are. Fantastic. My name is Mr. Craig and I work for the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Green Bay and the Youth Arts Initiative where we have done some amazing things, okay? So here is something, I, I, today is extremely special episode. Um, the very first comic that we did, and look at these babies. These are professionally produced, printed on some high quality paper. Um, these easily you'd pay four or five dollars for in the comic shop. And uh, we've been able to give these out uh, to wonderful, lucky people. This was the very first one that we did called Tales of the Imagination Station. And um, that one basically took uh, images that the kids photographed. We kind of scripted out each page that we wanted them to do. And they were responsible for, if they worked in a team of two, um, like Mackenzie and Angelina did, they actually had to make two pages. So that was kind of cool. Um, this is a Koya's page and it's one of my absolute favorites, just beautiful. Now from there, we went to our next jump in space, which was Food Shack Funnies. And Food Shack Funnies uh, was a really interesting and bizarre story. We wanted to have the kids tell three panel comic strips. So it was all about comic strips. And all of a sudden, I noticed that uh, a couple of the kids were working on comic strips about French fries of all things. So we stopped what we were doing and it's like, all right guys, we're gonna make a restaurant. What should we call it? And a bunch of names came up and uh, finally one kid said, let's call it Le Food, Le Food. And um, we're like, yeah, that sounds great. And then another kid said, what if we call it Food Shack? And all the kids' eyes lit up and boom, within an hour we had our logo. Angelina designed our logo and we had our, our start for something that became two episodes of a television show as well as its own comic. And again, these babies are highly professional, highly uh, produced, wonderful uh, comics. Uh, the next one that we did, so we've made a natural progression. We went from telling a story, learning how to tell a story, to learning how to tell a three panel comic strip and draw it. So that was the thing is the food shack funnies, all the kids drew that. The next progression was our doodle planet where the kids actually told full page stories. Um, each kid worked on a page themselves. So that was super awesome. And um, so that was Doodle Planet. So our third highly professional printed comic book, which again, we're super excited by. We just released Animal Tales. And there's a, there's a gap between Doodle Planet and Animal Tales, and I'm gonna fill that in in just a second. But Animal Tales became our fourth professionally produced comic, and we went back to the comic strips then. So it was, um, we had a whole bunch of new people by this time, and we went back to some of the comic strips where it was a very successful formula for making a really, really cool comic book. But now that brings me to our fifth thing. And that's why this is such a special episode is because our fifth thing is now sitting in this envelope. I have not opened it yet. This is the biggest project I've ever worked on ever before. So we went from learning how to tell a story within Imagine, uh, Tales of the Imagination Station to telling a three panel comic strip with uh, Food Check Funnies to telling a full page story with Doodle Planet. And the next thing in that progression was telling our origin stories in two pages. And that was going to become our graphic novel. And guess what people? In this envelope right here is our graphic novel. I've not seen it yet. I've not even seen a facsimile copy because you can't make them because it's really big. It's 132 pages. Ooh, this is making me nervous. This is a big deal. 
I feel like crying. <laughs> it's totally Christmas. <sighs> this is Drawing From Our Lives. And it was made by 40 some kids and myself. It's a collaboration between myself and the kids. So I told some stories in here too. One of the coolest things is, is we've got Jack and Luke um, who finally got a chance to put their Newful comics in there. Holy cats, these are hefty. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. They are very weighty. They, are, they feel like a graphic novel. The spine, drawing from our lives, the back cover, you can kind of see I am an artist and this was made by Azalea and uh, Kyla and maybe a couple of other kids helped on that. Oh, that's gorgeous. I am an artist. It looks so great. And here is our cover, drawing from our lives. Um, Kyla drew the hands. Um, I'm not sure whose hands they are. Talison did this little pattern inside which becomes the pattern for the inside of the cover. Holy cats, this is gorgeous. And then look at how it just continues. Here's my first part, my example stories. The creativity, um, it gets really pinched in there so people are gonna probably wanna really crack this open. But holy mackerel, this looks fantastic. Oh my God. Anna's story, Ashley's story, Brion, Jasmine, Jacqueline, Jamal's. This one here is funny. Oh, I love Jamal's story. Um, Jacqueline, Jasmine, sorry, Lily, Luke, and it just keeps going all the way through. Uh, Maddie's story. Actually, Maddie never got a chance to finish this last page, so I kind of took some of the notes that we had. And I, I wrote down as much as I could remember from her because her pages were already illustrated and colored. She just needed to add the words. So we, we finish her pages up. Megan, Olivia, and I, we broke it into chapters too. And it's just so cool. Angel story, Erilyn, Daisha, haven't seen Daisha in a while. Um, Hayden's story, this is a really cool one. And Hayden worked very closely with me to make this story. Josiah, Josiah's an awesome student. Talison, Trayvon even made a story page in here. Um, there is uh, Azalea's illustration page. And um, Anaya, Ashton, I haven't seen Ashton in probably a year or two. So it's not, maybe not two, but I haven't seen him in a year. And you're in our book, buddy. That's pretty awesome. I love your story. Your story is so cool. Azalea. Azalea did one, two, three, four pages for her story. She's the she's the champion um, right there. Gael with his cooking, with Gael's story. Um, Gracie with her uh, unicorn story. Jasmine. Job, I actually took some of Joe's pictures. He was so close to being done. I had to take some of his old pictures that he did and fill in uh, creating the end of his story because Job, it's super important. I wanted to see Job part of our story because he has worked on every project with us all the way through with the YAI Youth Arts Initiative. And it was so cool to see Job continue with that. Um, this was uh, Olivia's story. And Olivia, I had one summer. So Olivia, you're part of the story. Super cool. Kyla, the only one who did kind of like a black and white page, although I think Madden did one later on. And then here was a bonus page that I did. Part five, Life at the Club, Christopher. Um, and these are some older stories that Christopher did that we were part of his story. So we put that in there as, as well as Emily's story. And here was the, the story that kind of goes into that one. Uh-oh, that, that page looks like it printed funny, but it still looks great. Still looks great. Here is Grace. I love her artistry on that page. Caden, brilliant story about when we won an award for the YI. And I added two pages from a previous book um, because they're true stories. And that was really important. This was Graham's story where he met um, 
where he actually met Aaron Rodgers, which is pretty cool. And this was Reese's story where she just loved to get to, over to my classroom. It was just a beautiful little tale. And we have a whole chapter for Jack and Luke. Look at here, and this is uh, Jack's Cube Guy Comics cover. All the way through here, all the Jack's pages, and Luke's pages from his movie. It's pretty cool. And then here is a, a big story of mine where I took the pages that I did as a kid and finished them. So this is actually the work of 11-year-old um, Mr. Craig, uh, cleaned up and polished to finish up a story. Oh my gosh, and then here's a bonus story for me. It's how to make a comic. Um, and then some bonus pages where the kids didn't quite finish their, what they were working on. So all these are examples of pages that the kids were working on but never got them finished. And um, that comes with the that comes with the territory. There's not everybody's going to get their page finished. Not everybody's going to stick around long enough. Um, but I kind of tried to get like here's Jesse. Jesse did such a great job on his illustrations, but he never got a chance to finish his page because um, he moved away. And but I thought it was cool. Madden, I would have loved to see this story finished up because it sounds very emotional, very powerful. And then Lariah, she had to move to another part of town too, and I never saw her again. She did such a beautiful page on this story, I wish it would have been finished. Here's our poster. Here is an announcement about our Mark Grunewald challenge and how Anna came to see it with me and how I won it with some of the pages in this book. Um, here is the comics that we did. That's pretty cool. And an ad for Powers Comics. When in Green Bay, shop Powers Comics. Um, and then ad spaces for the Boys and Girls Club and the Youth Arts Initiative, me and Asaya. And finally, a nice wrap up with that same pattern um, that was created by Taliesin. And this is 132 pages and a cover. And this is gorgeous. And this will probably be a $20 book when it's done because it costs so much to have it printed. But boy, oh boy, does that look fantastic. We're working on possibly an additional chapter to this about the coronavirus. Possibly. Otherwise, this is amazing. This is a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, I can't wait to hear what people think about it because it's ridiculously awesome. And it's you can feel it and tell how much work went into this book. Um, thank you guys so much for uh, being here with me while I opened up this this is a special day. This is the biggest project that I've ever worked on so far as far as comic books are concerned. Um, for example, each of these comics is about 36 pages long. This is 132 pages. So that is quite a difference. And for me, the super cool thing is that it's a true collaboration between myself and my students. I got a chance to tell a story or two inside of here as well as the stories of my of my students. And I think that's just a, such a beautiful thing. <sighs> I feel like crying a little bit. Um, my name is Mr. Craig. Thank you guys for sharing this special moment with me. Um, I represent the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Green Bay and the Youth Arts Initiative, specifically the Youth Arts Initiative. That's just repetitive. Um, have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you very soon. Thank you.